I want to show you guys one of the coolest ways to outsource designs for your print on demand products. Of course, we're going to keep it simple. All right. You don't get paid to make things more complicated than they need to be. So, well, I'm not going to bury the lead. We're going to be outsourcing design to AI. I want to show you one of the most popular print on demand design apps that made this even easier to do with their new prompting. And it actually generates multiple outputs at a time. Of course, I'm talking about Kittle. If you guys haven't had a chance to test it out, prepare to be amazed. I'm going to show you how easily I've been able to create sets of shirts. I've been, you know, messing around with the Halloween theme, given that we're in the month of October. So we're going to have some fun with that. Let's get to it. So let's get right into it. I'm going to jump on over to Kittle. If you're not already using them, make sure to check it out. Link in the description so you can follow along. So behind me, I'm logged in. I'm ready to go. If you're not familiar, they show you a bunch of templates that they've created for us that we can use as jumping off points. All right, that's included. But I want to show you how to make your own templates using AI. All right, I kind of framed it as designs, but I should have mentioned that these are editable design templates that we're going to be generating. We're going to make it easy when it comes to prompting and it's going to generate multiple outputs so we can work with the best of the best. Hard to beat that. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually click new project. But just so you guys know, you also have, you know, categories for the different templates that are already available. I'm going to hit new project, though, and we will start from scratch here in Kittle. Uh, what we're going to do then is set our dimension. So I'm going to click the print on demand tab. Then I'm going to click the uh, merch by Amazon, Amazon merch tab and click create. So now we've got our template optimized here for 4,500 by 5,400 pixels, which is, you know, the Amazon merch preferred design size. Now on the left-hand side in Kittle, at the very bottom, there's that star. It says Kittle AI. I'm going to click that. And you'll notice, depending on how, on how long you've been using Kittle, uh, they have some new options, all right? It's not just the image generator, which by the way is awesome, all right? It's a good place to start if you haven't messed around, but they have a sets generator, which this video is not going to focus on. But play around with that if you haven't tried it. It's cool. You can upload your design style and then tell it what to create. And it will create those things in the style that you told it to. And you can actually upload other graphics, right? So if you upload a leopard print, right? You take a picture of a leopard and then that's what you upload. And you say, okay, create me a, um, I don't know, like a cookie. <laughs> you know what I mean? And an ice cream cone. You'll get a leopard cookie and a leopard ice cream cone. Really cool. Uh, but we're going to look at the design generator, okay? And it's going to create design templates, as I mentioned. Uh, I want to make a logo, t-shirt design, sticker, posters, uh, social post, advertisement. I'm going to click, you guessed it, t-shirt design because I'm always thinking of monetizing and to me, that's the shortest path to profits. <laughs> if there's one thing I know, it's how to sell t-shirts. All right, and then it says four and this is where maybe you caught my video from a couple days ago where I talked about data mining Google Trends for ideas. Literally, not just random ideas though. It's actual ideas that people are typing into the search bar. Some of the stuff that we saw when we looked at Halloween shirts was people were looking up like Halloween shirts for dogs, right? Like dog related, you know what I mean? Where the human and the dog can kind of have their matching outfit was something that popped into my mind. So Halloween for dog is what I'm going to type in for the prompt. Uh, colors, you can either type that in or skip it. And then in the style of, and I'm going to go with retro, all right? But you can do anything you want. I'm going to click generate design and give it a few seconds. And there we go. We've got our outputs. So it's got multiple design templates that it generated for us. You can see it actually went and generated pictures of dogs for us as well. You could offer this as custom, right? It's this simple. You have the template here in Kittle. You can just delete the AI generated dog and then offer to, you know, accept photos of their dogs from the customers if you want to. Uh, custom, costumes, Candy Barker. So it's trying to do like a play on word there related to dogs and the costume aspect for, and the candy aspect for Halloween. Um, you can even see it's choosing fonts from Kittle's massive font library that it thinks fits with the overall theme and the vibe of these design templates. So I just wanted to show uh, that to you as well. You can see here, that was the first one. Here's the second one. It says, from the depths of bones, barks arise, nightfall howl. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. This one says, uh, dog costume, spooky and fun, treat your own dog. So again, playing within the uh, common theme of Halloween and dogs, howl o -ween. Gotta love that, howl o <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but my dogs, they like to howl. Like, you, one of them gets going, they all get together and they sing. Uh, Doggyville Park, the land of Barktastic. And then it says, Pawsylvania, howl o -ween. 
So again, giving us some ideas to work with there as well. And if we think we can improve this, again, click any element here in the design. Feel free to resize it. Like I think the dog could be bigger. So you see, I just click that element, resize it. I mean, it's completely customizable, guys. And then of course you have the ability to change the project colors too. So if you don't like the colors uh, that it generated for us, you know what I mean? And this is all right behind me here. I'm kind of hiding the uh, the toggle so I can move myself here on the green screen. And you see in the bottom right corner that we have the ability to kind of change the color scheme any way we see fit. Let's see if there's a good Halloween color scheme that we're not aware of, like maybe Halloween centric. This red plastic one at the very bottom actually seems like kind of Halloween-y because, you know, Halloween, red, horror, I don't know. Anyways, let's move on to a new prompt. I went ahead and typed in Halloween for pregnancy, which again, if you caught that previous video, that was definitely a recurring theme in the Google search data. So there's interest there. Let's see if we can cater to that demand using Kittle's AI and see what these templates look like when they're done rendering. And here we go. We've got some designs to check out. I love the first one with the orange color scheme, very fitting for Halloween, fitting for pumpkins in October, the pumpkin being the baby here. Uh, the AI did make a few mistakes, it seems. It says pumpkin do is October. Uh, and then it says 2023 maternity ward. So why don't we flip this? We'll make do say is, and we'll make is say do. Simple, you know, it's nice that these are editable, right? And then we'll bring the date at the bottom. We'll put the maternity ward at the top. And since 2023 is the past, we will say 2024, implying October 2024. So now it says maternity ward, pumpkin is due October 2024. Love that they are editable. You saw how quick and easy that was. The next one, it says baby growing in pumpkin. And it says kind of boho in the corners. Interesting. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this one, but just wanted to show you that output. Uh, the next one says pumpkin bump spooky boo up every moment you know it's decent uh you probably only want to work with the best of the best and you saw how easy it is to just regenerate new ideas the fourth one right here says pumpkin belly i'm actually going to play with these design elements just a little bit i'm going to select them i'm going to move them up towards the top i might even make them a little bit smaller and i'm going to show you why in a second uh then i'm going to center them perfect now i'm going to go over to the left hand side i'm going to click the image icon and then if you guys didn't know, you can click Kittle AI images. It actually was already selected for me. And I'm going to type in pumpkin. All right. To match the theme of the design. Why not? I'm going to scroll down until I find one. I like, oh my gosh, perfect. This kawaii pumpkin right here is absolutely perfect. I'm going to use the AI background remover over here on the right hand side. Now to remove the background, boom, done in just a second. I'm going to resize it, make it big, not too big though. Okay. Pumpkin belly. Boom, I love that. And then of course, down in the bottom right corner, uh, I kind of showed you guys last time, there is the ability to change the project colors. And I'm gonna find maybe not the, the red Halloween one from before, but just one that I think works. This one's called Mango Dreams. I think it looks great for the theme of this design. Uh, Retro Summer looks okay. I want more of an orange vibe though. It's got pumpkins in it. So I'm gonna click the Mango Dreams color scheme and apply that. Guys, you saw how quick and easy that was. I love this one. If there's any other last edits I make, I might make the text a little bit bigger, but you know, nothing too crazy just to kind of fill some of that design space. Cause I'm usually thinking in terms of like, you know, selling on Amazon, Amazon merch. And I like to make my designs big, bold and easy to read. One way to do that is to just make the text a little bit bigger. I absolutely love this design. I'm loving the enhancements kills making to their tools. If you're not using Kittle already, make sure to check them out. The link is at the top of the description. The last thing we would do, go up to the top right corner, click download, make sure to check remove background. I'm guessing most of you guys would want to do that. And then you can go ahead and click download. Make sure to go upload it to all of the available marketplaces that you're integrated with. I recommend Amazon, Etsy, Walmart, and eBay as you know my top priorities in terms of where to sell. Make it easy for customers to find you, check all of those marketplaces and start monetizing the beautiful designs that Kittle's AI is creating for us. Of course, you don't have to use AI, but you know, time is money. I love being able to outsource and no one's making it easier to do that than Kittle. So check them out, guys. Thank you for watching. Please, if you found this video helpful, let the YouTube algorithm know by hitting that like button. Please subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys soon with another new video.